stood by the water's side. Let my people go. Had God's command, it did divide. Hi everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Wednesday the 7th of July. We begin our time together as always with our opening prayer. Let's pray together. Loving God, we thank you for putting us right with you. Not on the basis of any works we might perform, but purely through your grace. We thank you that when we confess our faults, you delight to show mercy, putting them behind us and wiping the slate clean. Forgive us for using that as an excuse for carelessness in discipleship and feebleness in our response to your love, forgetting that you desire us also to turn faith into action and to practice what we preach. Help us in whatever way we can to do just that, expressing our love for you through loving others, living out the gospel in deed as well as word, so that our walk with you lives up to the talk. Inspire us not merely to embrace faith, but also to live it out, as we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Exodus chapter 2 During that long period, the king of Egypt died. The Israelites groaned in their slavery and cried out, and their cry for help because of their slavery went up to God. God heard their groaning, and he remembered his covenant with Abraham, with Isaac, and with Jacob. So God looked on the Israelites and was concerned about them. Now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There the angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Moses saw that though the bush was on fire, it did not burn up. So Moses thought, I will go over and see this strange sight why the bush does not burn up. When the Lord saw that he had gone over to look, God called to him from within the bush, Moses, Moses. And Moses said, Here I am. Do not come any closer, God said. Take off your sandals, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. Then he said, I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. At this, Moses hid his face, 
because he was afraid to look at God. Psalm 15 Lord, who may dwell in your sacred tent? Who may live on your holy mountain? The one whose way of life is blameless, who does what is righteous, who speaks the truth from their heart, whose tongue utters no slander, who does no wrong to a neighbor and casts no slur on others who despises a vile person, but honors those who fear the Lord, who keeps an oath even when it hurts and does not change their mind, who lends money to the poor without interest, who does not accept a bribe against the innocent. Whoever does these things will never be shaken. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Forgive us, Lord, for we treat faith sometimes like a possession, assuming once we have it, it is ours forever. We forget that it's not something we own, but a way of life that must be practised. And so, foolishly, we imagine we can store it away, bringing it out when we need it. Instead, it shrivels and dies, running in consequence like dust through our fingers when we need it most. Forgive our foolish complacency, our leaving faith untouched for so long that it becomes all but redundant. Brush away the cobwebs from our soul and inspire true and lasting commitment within us, one that touches every part of who and what we are. Amen.